review from JGTL and today I'll be viewing the Samsung Galaxy S5. So if you all like what you guys see on my channel, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon for more notifications on my next video. So is the S5 Pro still worth it in 2021? Let me know what you guys think down at the comment section below. The Samsung came out 2014 February, which marked the end of plastic era in Samsung Galaxy S series. So Taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy S5, we notice it has a micro USD port and a microphone. The Samsung came out in 2014 February, which marked the end of plastic era in Samsung S series. At the side, we notice the power on button. At the top, you can see a 3.5mm headphone jack and a noise cancellator. At the side, you can notice the volume workers. A 5.1 inch smartphone with a screen to body ratio of 69.6 dimension of 142 by 72.5 it weighs 145 grams the front screen is actually protected by gorilla glass 3 while the back is completely made out of plastic the main camera has a single 60 megapixel with half pressure 2.4 or slightly below it is an led flash and at the bottom left corner is where the loudspeaker is mounted on turning to the front the selfie cam has a 2 megapixel with a half ratio of 2.2 and beside it is a second speaker below we can see the finger opening up the phone yes the phone actually does open we get to see the samsung back of the phone which is completely a plastic the phone actually has a single micro sd slot and a sim card slot and the phone has a battery of 2800 mAh and above all we also get to see that clear view of the loudspeaker which is mounted at the bottom left corner of the phone on closing the phone up i noticed that the frame is actually made out of plastic so the front screen is actually made out of gorilla glass 3 the back is made out of plastic and the frame is also made out of plastic it is not the best phone design with the plastic back and the plastic frame but considering the fact that the phone actually came out in 2014 i actually don't mind i mean i can actually use three to four batteries in the phone unlike current phones in 2021 which don't have that feature and besides the s5 is actually easy to repair anyway aside that locking the smartphone i noticed that the screen was actually super bright this is thanks to the samsung s five having a super amoled display with a resolution of 1080 by 920 pixel the contrast and the images really do pop up it also has a 432 ppi so the phone stays sharp and clear at all times samsung galaxy x5 comes with the qualcomm snapdragon 81 chipset with a cpu of quad core 2.5 gigahertz and a gpu of adreno 330 the storage comes in two variants either the 16 gb 2 gig ram or the 32 gb 2 gig ram as you can see from the screen upwards the chipset holds up quite well though loading up apps takes time a little bit but in 2021 i tried to think the chipset can perform better although it doesn't work for fortnite so you can't play fortnite on it but PUBG might actually run on the phone and some light games going into the settings app you can notice that the settings app is so horrible because of the samsung skin like every setting has its own circular icon and it goes on for one and if you're not careful you might go you might get confusing how to navigate the settings app the S5 comes with Android 4.0, but you can actually upgrade it to the Android 6.0, which is Marshmallow. It shows that despite Samsung making good hardware year after year, the lack of software updates is disappointing. Upgrading it to the Marshmallow is actually better in 2021 because of the Android 6.0 is not far away from the current Android system we have. You can use backdoor method to get newer versions of updates for the Samsung Galaxy S5, but not too many people really know how to use that. Even iPhone 5, which came out a year before, is up to date up until late 2019 with iOS 12. Despite the lack of software updates on the Samsung Galaxy S5, it is still usable in 2021. Opening up the camera app, I noticed a lot of mode like the auto, the beauty face, the short armor, the panorama virtual tour and dual camera that's pretty much it 
I won't be talking much about those features. Well, back to the camera. There are a lot of features to juggle around to get a well good looking photo. I got to play around a few of them, like the picture size, the ISO, video size, and the video stability and HDR. Not too many people would like the feature because some are old and quite bad and awful. Anyways, I got to take some pictures and some were okay and some not 2021 20, standards let me know what you think about the cameras down the comments below some of the pictures lack detail and sharpness though the color reproductions on some were actually quite good The S5 is still useful in 2021 if you are low on budget. The sound quality is not the best, but it gets the job done. Apps open up reasonably fast, though it's still on Android 6.0, but with the back door, you can get the latest updates on the phone. The battery is good. I got up to 5 hours of screen on time, and I'm actually quite impressed for a 2800 mAh. The camera, the front camera is quite decent. The details are soft, the color reproduction is accurate, though the sharpness is not that great. The selfie camera is bad, lacks detail, color reproduction is bad, sharpness is bad, but it's still quite decent for the price. Well, that's all I can say for this video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.